Hello and welcome to episode 16 on project Local Stemix 5. So as you've seen last time, got the engine in towards the end of the last video. So that's um I've double checked it's all on the mount in the front, so that's uh, that's where it's gonna sit. It does look a little bit high, but when you look at the sort of the line of the bonnet, it barely sticks through the bonnet, the front of the engine, so it's not too bad at all. Um I need to connect today. Well, I've got sort of this afternoon, it's raining again as usual, but this afternoon, so I'm going to connect this end of the PPF, sort whatever's going to happen with this speedo cable, and then, um, as I said in the last video, I'm missing the steel spacer for the back, which I still haven't got, but I'm going to bolt that up anyway, I think, without the spacer, just to, just so everything's together, and then when I get the steel spacer, it's only a case of fitting that in. So I'm going to do them little bits, and I'm going to dig the pedals, the brake, um, whatever you call it, master cylinder, the clutch, uh, the throttle pedal, and I'll get them bolted in. And um, yeah, I think if I do that, I'll be okay for this episode, so we'll get on with it. Right, PPF's bolted in now. It's two, it's two bolts, just see the tops of them. Yeah. And there's one that goes through just underneath there, so there's only the three that hold the gearbox end, so that's uh, it's all in now, nice and tight, and then this end, it's a bit hard to see, but from up here, you can see roughly where, so these are the two nuts, one there, one there, two long bolts come through, one's thicker than the other, um, and down, down just there, so that steel spacer goes, but it's okay like that for now, it's holding everything where it should be, so while I'm trying to get hold of a spacer, I've been offered one very kindly, for free, but it's just getting there, it's the only thing, it's quite, quite a way away from where I am, so I'm going to go and dig the pedal assemblies out, and get them fitted in next I think, and um as soon as the brake master cylinder is there, you can start thinking then about running these uh, brake pipes. Getting them near enough to where I want them to be. And then I'll have to order some some, uh, some of the flexi brake hoses up. Probably get four equal lengths if that's a cheaper way of doing it or whatever. But yeah, I'll get on with it. Right, I've dug out the pedal assemblies. This is how the MX-5 ones are, so you've got your throttle on your right there, your brake in the middle, or on the left of this one, so that bracket holds them too, and then clutch pedal is a separate bracket, um, so yes that's how that is, and you've got your brake, master cylinder, and the booster, and then you have your little a little um, master cylinder for the clutch there. So we'll get them bolted up and I'll show you what it looks like with the pedals fitted. Right, that's the pedals in, fitted. So they're exactly, they look a little bit close together but they're exactly the same spacing as the MX-5. So these brackets are now in and solid, the boost is on, master cylinder and the clutch master cylinder. So the slave cylinder is just down here for the clutch, just takes them two bolts down there. Um on a on a Maz on the MX5 they go from here across to the other side of the engine and then come back over on like a flexi down to here. Um so I'll probably go down down the sort of chassis down here and then have a flexi over to the to the um slave cylinder and then I can't remember what this one this pipe here did but I'll I'll find out and then there's two pipes that come out the bottom of this like splitter type thing brake bias thing or whatever it is um so yeah so now that that's in place and that's in place um, I'm going to do one more thing today is just fit, well not fit but 
just lay over the fiberglass scuttle panel and then we're ready then for brake pipes right so there we have it it's the uh, brake assembly done pedal assembly sorry and uh, the scuttle so I just have to trim around these and a couple of the inner bits but you can see how close the steering wheel is there now which is why I need to change this for a, for a deep dish one I might want to lower it a little bit as well um, so that's easily done there's no need to worry about the stalks because I'm doing away with them the only thing that will be down there is the ignition key which I'll leave down there because it's well out of the way so yeah, so that's, that's how it's that's how it is today. So, so yeah, so I'll end this one there, episode 16. Um didn't have loads of time today, but got a bit more done, a bit further, another step on the ladder. So um so yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're enjoying the project, subscribe to the channel and um Hopefully we'll have some more stuff soon.